Hi YouTube. Make sure my tripod is actually working. I'm just uh oh, probably tell you what I'm doing. I'm unboxing PC parts. Got a uh, lot of stuff to unbox, so I just figured I'd start into it. First thing was a graphics card. It was the only thing that didn't come with the case. It's a um, RX 580 uh, Red Devil. It is the eight gigabyte version. So I got it used on eBay, but it looks it looks pretty clean. Um, even inside, it didn't come with like a box or an instruction manual, which is kind of sad. But I got it for um, uh, like one hundred and forty two dollars after tax and shipping and everything. So that was pretty pretty decent. Yeah, it looks. It looks clean pretty far into there. Probably take a light and shine into it, but it looks pretty good. Just put that to the side for right now. And then I'm just gonna go, I kind of put them in order of like smallest box and then put them in a way you guys could see them. Try to take this off carefully. I pretty much opened everything already. Um, I didn't really look, like read any manuals or anything like that yet. And uh, I'll probably do a lot of reading and then do the uh the build so let's see here this is a uh, my ssd it is a um xpg brand spectrix s40g it's a uh, got some rgb uh lights on it and then uh, it's a m.2 2280 pci e gen 3x4 uh, ssd so it is one of the semi newer brands. I think they have like Gen 4s now. This is like a Gen 3. I'm not even gonna take it fully out of them. Just let you guys kind of focus on that. Hopefully my camera kind of focuses. So yeah, I got that. This was um somewhere in the neighborhood of like almost a hundred dollars. I think it was not quite a hundred dollars, like seventy dollars or something like that. But uh, I I got an Amazon credit card. And uh, they they give you like a sixty dollar gift card, so I basically got it for like twenty bucks, something like. That. I think it was eighty, and I got it for like twenty after the Amazon gift card. So that was a pretty good deal. Put that to the side, all nice in the box, so I can figure out how to mess with it later. And then I got my CPU here. This is a Ryzen third gen processor. It's the uh, thirty six hundred. Let you guys check that out. And it is a PCIe Gen 4 ready, it says. So that is, that is nice. So pull out the CPU here. There's the CPU itself. I'll probably uh, do, some, do some light reading on this later. Probably just gonna leave that out actually since it's got a nice menu. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the cooler. This is the cooler, of course, of course. Let's, uh, let us check out the cooler here. Just carefully get it out so it doesn't lose its nice plastic covering and everything. That is the, um, it's like a, it's a Wraith cooler. Wraith, can't think it's like the Wraith Spire that comes with this one, let me see. Um, it doesn't look like it says on here. But yeah, it's, it comes with a Wraith cooler and it's, it, they're pretty decent little coolers and do coolers. I think they were saying, let me see. Yeah, that's nice. I think they were saying you might have to flip this panel to get the AMD logo to face up. And as you can tell, I got some, I got some more like looker type items. I think I might get a custom backplate for my, um, for my GPU later, but I might wait cause I'm probably gonna get a better GPU before I do that. Um, this is just like a, I didn't really have as much money as I wanted to drop on it. Oh, I got this from a uh, micro center, by the way. Got this from micro center, by the way. Um, it was $160, it was on sale. Um, and then I got um, the motherboard with it on sale too, since I bought them together. This way, make it look nicer. I wanna unbox it myself later. Start getting everything ready for the build, maybe get things kind of pre-built and show you guys how I'm going to build it and I'm going in blind to the build too I've never I've never built gaming PC this is gonna be my first gaming PC so and then I got these uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro and they are uh, two 16 gigabyte six of RAM 3200 megahertz 
I was going to try to grab the 3600 mega megahertz, but I think they were saying either this processor or this, I think it's this uh, motherboard. Um, they were like kind of iffy on whether it would support 3600 um, megahertz, so I just got these. They were a little pricey, but they look really nice, and I know that Corsair is a pretty recognized brand. I... I read some reviews on this. I think that they're like a little less recognized, but XPG is still, they, they had pretty good reviews across the board. They said that they were pretty good. So stuck with that on the drive. I got the drive a little bit cheaper. These were 150. So see, I'm like at $80, but it's actually $20 for this because I got the gift card, like 140 for graphics cards, like 220 is kind of going to try to add this guy up for you guys. That's the CPU is like 160. This is without tax on most of these. Um, so that'd be like 380. And then this is 150. So that's 530. $530 so far. Um, let's put these back in here. I don't really have any too many instructions to read. Uh, those are pretty straightforward. That those are pretty good, pretty good sticks um, of RAM, and they are. To 16 gigabyte sticks, so it is 32 gigabytes altogether. Um, yeah, I did want the RGB on a few things. My, I think my motherboard they said it has like one tiny little LED on it or something like that, but it does have the LED controller in it uh, in this motherboard, so it should be should be RGB compatible. Then I got a. Sorry, I guess I should look at the camera. I've just been looking at all my items and stuff. Um, I got a um, regular hard drive, like a like a spinny hard drive, an internal hard drive. Don't know what to call it. A SATA. It is a uh, two terabytes. It is a Seagate, Seagate Barracuda, which I read up and I read up on a lot of this stuff. And apparently they're pretty good brands. So man, that thing is like compared to the compared to this, it's a pretty big difference in weight. You know, it's kind of crazy, but. Uh, this is five. Oh, I never said this. This is a 512 gigabyte hard drive. Um, it is a lot faster storage. So this will be like for my games and my operating system and stuff like that. Get like my main games, probably Smite, play a lot of Smite. Maybe some Fortnite. I've been playing some Fortnite with my brother. And this will be, you know, anything else, just random stuff, the pictures or anything like that that I want to store on there. Do have a little manual in here. I'm just gonna leave all my manuals out to the side. I'm gonna read up on all this later. <laughs> Other than that, I haven't really, haven't really found any manuals yet. I'm sure these next two items will not disappoint on the manual front. I'm sure that they will have a nice amount of reading. But yes, this is the Seagate Barracuda Drive. Um, yeah, it's it's it was rated pretty good. Um, it is a 3.5 inch drive, but that should be okay. I do have, I believe I have the right size slots in there. If they're the wrong size slots, then I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, this, oh, my friend also told me that he was gonna, I think he said he was might slide me a couple hard drives too, but I have enough hard drive space if he decides he's not going to anyway. This is uh, my power supply. It's the Be Quiet Pure Power 11, uh, 600 watt. It is a 80 plus gold uh, power supply. It should be, I'm trying to remember where I opened it from earlier. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Such a, it's kind of a weird box. It looks like it's upside from every side, but I think this is actually the downside. But it opens from there. So, oh yeah. See, I told you, they got you covered on the manual, in in the power supply. I knew they would. And I do like, I do like this. They're all all blacked out cables. Uh, nice. Like, you know, it's not gonna be like. Uh. Uh, what do you say like unicorn clown puke or something like that it's whatever you want to call it it's like the rainbow colored wires or whatever no red and yellow and white whatever your other color wires you might have got some uh, little zip ties and some uh, screws probably a little bit of cable management and stuff I have a lot of zip ties too I do have black zip ties so I will be I'll be fine on the zip tie front I have plenty of those there's your power cord, and that is it in this box. All right. Um, I might take this out if I can figure out how. Ah. 
just show it off a little tiny bit and then put it back. Oh, look at that. They give you like a little, it's like a moisture repellent packet or something like that. Like something to dry it out, I'm guessing, something like that. Keep it from getting too humid in there. It's the only thing I could think of that it would be. And yeah, that is a, that is a pretty decently sized heavy power source there. The Be Quiet Pure Power 11. It's got a nice little front cooler already situated on there. I think I'll have enough room in my case to, um, yeah, to put it in there and uh, get it, get enough airflow is what I really mean to say. Oh yeah, let me put it back in this package, which might be easier said than done, but I'm going to do it on camera, so show that it can be done. And I also, I'm unboxing everything on my mouse pad so I don't scratch up. This is like an old table, like my grandma's old table. So I'm using the mouse pad as a, uh, as a guard, which should be fine, I hope. I bought a, bought a mouse pad too. I honestly, I'm gonna have to look on my, my Amazon and I'll get back to you guys on what kind of mouse pad that is because I honestly do not remember. Um, I'm thinking it goes like this, I bet. Let's see. Yeah, I think it goes just like this. Tuck my power cords in there. That is, uh, that looks close enough. And we'll just slide these down in here. Oh, wow. Get that in there somehow, hopefully. If it doesn't go back in there perfect, that's okay though. I'm not that picky. Probably save most of these boxes. I uh, already unboxed the land pool case. I got a land pool case. I'll show you guys that in a second. But I just wanted to leave it out of the box because it took me and my brother pulling it out. The foam was like, you know, um, Pretty, pretty stuck together in there. It was very tightly placed inside of the box. Give me just one second. Just check, make sure. We're still going good and going strong. We are going strong on the video. Make sure my, make sure my recording actually went through. I didn't uh, record that for no reason. And I will, I'm, I'm just doing this all in one take. I'm not gonna edit anything out. So this is uh, my motherboard, it's a B450. Uh, it's an ASRock brand, uh, B450 Gaming K4. Look at this, I told you, man. I knew they were gonna have the manuals um, in the motherboards, software disc in here and stuff. Um, Fatality, it's a Fatality K4. B450 Fatality K4. I'll show you guys the front of the box. It, uh... It looks pretty pretty decent. Um, it is ready for it. It's ready for the uh, the 3000 series, the 3600. It will support that right out of the box. I bought them both together from Micro Center. Highly recommend Micro Center. I probably found. I probably honestly should have bought more stuff from Micro Center because a lot of these things I bought um, online and stuff like that, just like hunting for deals. And then like when I looked at what the stuff I could get from Micro Center, like what the prices were. The prices were probably better for Micro Center on most of these things, if not like right neck and neck with them. Um, like my case, I like waited so long on my case, but then when I looked after the fact, I had ordered it. Um, Micro Center had it in stock, so I could have went to the Micro Center that I was already going to and got got it all in one day. If I like, I did have the money for it, so I could have done that. Um, it would have been a possibility for me for sure. So would save me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's just the way it goes. Um, I don't know. They put like these little tiny screws in there. Those scare me. They're like, I mean, the head's pretty big on them, but like the, they're just like no. It's like the thinnest screw in the world. There's like no amount of threads on there at all. So, but like I said, I've never unboxed one of these, so I don't know what any of this stuff is. We got a uh, a SATA three six gigabyte. Uh, per second cable that is uh that'll be good for my my hard drive i'm guessing a little kind of a little rinky dink io shield it looks like but i mean it you know it's it's there it's not gonna like 
break or anything like that. It feels like it's there. So it's that's not bad. And this, yeah, another little tiny screw, little baby screw. Um, so let's see. I am gonna take this out and just show it because I kind of want to look at it too, but I'm just gonna do it very, very carefully. So. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at it myself, just seeing what everything is. I've never, never really looked at one of these um, up close on it. You know, my own motherboard up close, it's kind of crazy. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, this is the Azeroc. Oh, it's, it's this way, I think. I think it's this way. The Azeroc B450 Gaming K4. Um, Fate, Azrock Fatality Gaming K4 B450 motherboard whatever you want to say and it is an ATX um, a lot of people that I watched on YouTube went for micro ATX stuff um, I don't know if it's like you get the cases a little bit cheaper or I'm not exactly and you see these do have this is I think this is like a pretty decent heatsink here like this is supposed to have decent VRMs it's supposed to be able to overclock stuff I don't know if it'll overclock a 3600 that's yet to be seen we will we will be testing that we will be testing a couple things on this and just see what this this gaming k4 motherboard can do i do have a good power supply to push out whatever i need to have i don't really have the biggest graphics card so i mean it's decent graphics card it's eight gigabytes of uh vram on there and it's an rx 580 it's definitely gonna i think it'll get me some 1080p gaming um pretty good this was a uh, hundred dollars, but you get twenty dollars off of it because you buy it with the CPU, bundle it together. And I could have, like, I kind of watched some YouTube videos. I think it was Scattervolt put out a YouTube video um, about B450 versus B550. And now I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of wish I would have bought a B550 motherboard, but I didn't really have the money for it anyway. So it, it is what it is. Um, maybe later I'll experiment with getting the B550 and see what they offer but for now a b450 serves my purposes it, it will get me some some decently smooth gaming i think and i don't even have like our internet out here is questionable to say the least so uh yeah let's just, let's just leave it at that we're well it's it's remaining to be seen whether or not um whether or not we're going to be able to make this work but we'll, we will see Trying to just make this go in here nicely to where it doesn't hurt my motherboard at all. Put everything on this side. There we go. That's goes a little smoother now. I'm not gonna lay anything else on that graphics card. My work this is just gonna be cluttered. I can I can actually restack all this stuff really quick. Yeah. There we go. So, put this receipt over here too. And I got got a pretty decent little mountain of reading here. A little mound there. So, let's put that here too. This, shake it off. I got a little bit of dust on it. There's dirt on it or something. Something on it, but not too bad. Um, this is my mouse pad. Um, I'm not exactly sure what mouse pad this was. I'm not even gonna quote you guys a price, but it was pretty cheap. It seems pretty decent. It feels, it's definitely a fabric mouse pad, but I've never used a mouse before for gaming really. I mean, I have, but not like, not for the gaming that I'm gonna do. Not, not on the same level. Um, so yeah, I think this will work for at least now. If I decide I wanna get a hard top one later, then I will do that, but it is definitely at least pretty big. It offers me. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it, it offers you a decent amount of room to move around. And I, this little thing, if you, it's like that old school glow in the dark stuff where if you put it in a light, uh, put it under a light for a while, it like absorbs it and then it uh, glows in the dark after that. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. They put that on there. I just like the purple though. It looks, it looks just nice, nice enough with purple. Did not get any RGB mouse, uh, mouse pads yet. I probably would. I'll probably end up getting... The upgrades that I see myself getting are probably mostly 
like cool looking stuff like i'll probably get a bigger graphics card to run better games of course that that will be like the thing that's the big performance upgrade later i might get more ram if i needed it but i have 32 gigs of ram so that should be good for a while uh, i tried to future proof myself as much as possible maybe i need another motherboard eventually uh, my cpu and my ram my ssd like both my hard drives my power supply and my case all they should all last me a while and the b450 motherboard i could keep for a while i would say as long as i keep my cpu i could probably keep that motherboard and be okay um but yeah i will want to upgrade this here pretty soon and i want to get a custom backplate for it seen some pretty sick like anime backplates and stuff i know like uh jm mods or whatever it is uh they have a uh, custom backplates they like you can like send them a design and they'll make it for you so i might consider something like that like I want like a Hunter Hunter one, honestly, with some RGB on it. Or at least, at least if nothing else, I do want an RGB one. If I don't get an anime one, I'm at least going to, like, I would even consider a Dragon Ball Z one or something, or like a Sasuke one, because they have some pretty cool ones uh, that are already, like, are integrated and ready to go um, with the RGB and everything. So, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, but, I'll, yeah, I'll probably end up getting one of those and an RGB mouse pad and a keyboard and a mouse just to ham it up and make it look really nice and then probably at least some more fans for the case i know i'll need some more fans for the case which i'm about to show you guys next sorry this video is so long and i'm just talking sorry um so yeah let me, let me put this graphics card back in here one second guys okay Here's my manual for the land pool case. Hopefully you guys can actually see this. I might I might raise my camera. Let me see what it looks like. That's why I saved this for last. Yeah, I'm gonna raise this just a little bit. That'll that'll get us, I think. Maybe a little bit more just in case. And I'm not gonna sit down anymore anyway. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so this is the Leanne Lee Land Pool 2. I don't have a box for it because I, well, I mean, the box, technically, I do have it here. Look, let me prove it. I just want to prove it to you guys if this is it. Sorry, I got some, some water bottles out there. Need to throw away. That is the case right there for the Lee and Lee Land Cool 2. And you see it's got some really crazy, nice door features that look all swank and like you're showing off a car or something. And let's see here. I will go ahead and open it up and just show it off just a little bit. So, all right, guys, something happened. <laughs> My phone ran out of battery. Let's make sure I'm recording. I am. Make sure this thing works good before I start just absolutely trusting it like I do my phone battery. I thought I had enough battery to finish, but I guess I didn't. So anyway, where I was getting at is, uh, let's see, I said I was going to open it up the last point in the video. Sorry about that. I know I said I was going to do it all in one take. So this is the, uh, the top filter. It's like a magnetic filter. So it's pretty nice. Just kind of sits on here. Clicks down nicely. Oops, didn't mean to hit it that hard. Um, I do have a um, USB um like a i don't know what you call it a, a USB C on here just trying to think of what to call it one second i'll try to examine this usb drive it looks a little jankity this usb drive looks just a little bit janked on this case but that's okay i can fix that with some some tweezers and just push it back out just a little bit bent um yeah but what i was showing off on the video before little hard drive trays I do like how they're very very easily removable and you just I figured out how to put them back into you have to like have them open a little bit there I don't know if you guys can see that I'll move to the higher one maybe you guys will be able to see it better you have to have it like like this push it in I don't know if anybody knows that I'm pretty stupid with computers so 
I just pretty much learned everything recently. Um, yeah. So let's see here. So yeah, it does have nice little hinge doors on there. And you can take these off by pulling it up off of the hinges as you see there. And the inside of it uh looks really nice. Um, it looks like a high quality case to me. I know I watched the review on Jay's Two Cents and that's what made me decide to get the case and here yeah, let's see if I can take in a little deeper here see it looks uh looks pretty clean in there nice swinging door there looks looks pretty nice I'm actually gonna lower this down I did raise it too much actually indeed if you guys can't see my face I'd rather you see my case than my face um, then I'm gonna just go ahead and take off this front panel this front panel does have um, LEDs in it, RGB LEDs, oh, there it goes, so let's see if I can put this in front of you guys nicely, so see right here it's got these, uh, I don't know, if I think these are magnetic filters too, probably, it feels like they're the same material, and then it's got this little light on the bottom left corner there, that, uh, it'll light these, light these up, and it kind of sends, like, stuff through here, and it reflects it all cool, it looks like different, like, little rainbow patterns and stuff it does does some pretty cool stuff so it does have some curb appeal to it i will show you guys the front without the thing on there and then i'll show you guys the back or the the other side rather like the back side this would be like the front side it's got like the opening where you can see all your motherboard your rgb stuff and stuff in there all your different components that are going to look all pretty inside and then this side is the uh, the back plate side or whatever you want to call it? Let's pull this open nicely. Okay. So, and this is one thing I really liked. I'm not gonna unscrew any of these on camera or anything, but got these these back plates on here that will cover up all your wires. And I think they were saying on Jay's two cents. One of these is like a, has like a space for like an extra SSD or something like that, I think. Um, so yeah, you could get like some extra storage space. Like there's a lot of room in this case. It is a, and it was a hundred dollar case. So pretty inexpensive case for what it is. Got a lot of curb appeal, got magnetic tempered glass doors on both sides. Got the cable, cable hides, got a, uh, decent IO, two USBs. Um, I think they're both the good USBs, but I think it matters more on your motherboard. And you, it's got a place for USB-C. I gotta buy that cable for it. it. Does not come with cable. And this is the front of it without anything on it. And as you see, I do have a fan installed on the back, back there too, in the front, and one on the top. And that's pretty much the case. Um, it does look pretty nice. Ready to ready to start building on this thing so I can check out all the pretty RGB features. And I know there's like a bunch of things you can do to this case. Like there's like a bunch of different um, ways to set it up. It's really it's a really versatile case. So you could put like a you could put a bunch of different size motherboards and stuff in there. I think it's got room for I think they were saying it has room for two graphics cards if you have like the crossfire motherboard and stuff like that it's got a lot of room in there like you can just tell from the other side it's it's really spacious for a hundred dollar case a big enough case for an atx board and all that it's it's a pretty good deal so let's let's count up the build here so we got a hundred dollars on this case it was 95 dollars i think before tax or anything like that this graphics card was 142 dollars after tax and everything, of course. 150, so it's like 290, another 100, so like 390. Um, this was, we'll just call it $60. That way we get an accurate description of the bill. Or no, $80, I mean. Um, so that's 470. This, I think, was 60 or $50. I think maybe maybe it was just 60, but it is a two ter terabyte drive, so you can get a little more than that. We will lost count. Four, 470, you think? Let me, let me make sure. One, this is like 150 and 150 together, so like 
470, yeah, 480 maybe. Um, and then this is like, we'll say, we'll say 550 for like a safe, safe estimate there, not exact. Um, this is, CPU is 160, so $610. This was 80 after my discount, so $690. Add a little bit of tax in there, 700 And this was, um, I'm thinking $80 also, like $80, $82 or something after tax. So $780. And that is without a monitor. If I add a monitor in, I'm probably about to get a $300 monitor or so, like a decent. Um, Maybe like a 4K monitor, like a at least a at least a 1480 whatever monitor. Um, yeah, some decent refresh rate. So yeah, we're looking at we're looking at about a thousand dollar build here. This is probably like a what did I say like about an eight hundred dollar build right here with the cheaper graphics card on it. I'm gonna resell that graphics card on eBay later, and um, I'm just going to uh, yeah. Wait till then, get a bigger graphics card. So it'll end up being like a thousand dollar setup, probably. If I would have got the bigger graphics card, like a four hundred dollar graphics card. So I was gonna go for. I was going for. Like an RTX twenty sixty. Or twenty seventy, probably a super. It's like four hundred or six hundred dollars, somewhere in that range or something like that. And then I was kind of looking at an RX. Um, I can't remember what they're called now. That's the comparable version of that. If it's a 5700, I'm thinking. Yeah, but I was looking at something like that. So we'll see if prices drop or prices go up or if something new comes out or what happens. But for now, this will get me 1080p gaming. I'm going to buy a nicer monitor so that I have the, the forwards compatibility, the uh, future proofing, if you will. So yeah, this has uh, been my unboxing of everything here. This is... Everything for the first part of my gaming PC. I'll need a mouse. I technically have a mouse and a keyboard. Like a, here, I can show you guys that if you want. It's like a crappy mouse and keyboard, but I do like it. I think this is uh, on. Like O O O N N, like the Walmart. I don't know if it's actually a Walmart brand, but this is the keyboard, and there's the mouse, and they actually are, you know, not bad for just a regular keyboard and mouse. That's probably, at first I'll probably play with controller, because that's what I'm used to, uh, gaming-wise, but I do have a keyboard and mouse that I can use until I get some pretty RGB stuff, which is probably the goal, eventually. Um, and I do like, both of these are the same system, so they come with one Bluetooth dongle instead of, like, having like a whole bunch of different things plugged in at once, so I do like that a lot. If I get something later, I'll tr probably try to get a set like that that's it's one connection if I can, um, unless I go wired. It just depends if I go wired or not. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. And then, got my mouse pad, so that's, that's everything except for a monitor that you need right there. It's got the power supply, the motherboard, the, I got a uh, NVMe2, and a, a regular SSD there. Um, I have a CPU, a GPU, RAM, power supply in case. I don't know if I said power supply already, but yeah, in case. And a uh, mouse pad, keyboard, and mouse. That is that is everything. And I uh, I indeed really do like my little tripod that I that I got the other day. That UBZ tripod I reviewed. It's pretty good. You guys should check that out if you. If you need a tripod or selfie stick or anything like that, it's pretty pretty decent. You can probably get better selfie sticks, honestly, but as far as a tripod goes, it's really cheap and it also doubles as a selfie stick and it comes with the little camera mount. And the only thing I've had a problem with is it did kind of scratch my case, but I took it out of there kind of recklessly. So, and it wasn't from this, like it's just from me just pulling it out without, you're supposed to like, let's see if I can show it off, you're supposed to like pull it apart to get it out. But I was just like, eh, yank. But it's it's just the case, it's fine. My actual phone is very protected. So yeah, I am shooting these videos with my phone. They look pretty okay. Like, this looks pretty good, really. So, this is my lighting. <laughs> so...